Hi, I'm Tim. I'm an independent uh, installer. Uh, Revolve has asked me to take you through the standard install for one of their standard battery packs. Uh, we are going to show you in three easy steps how to do the total install. Um, I'm going to first take you through in step one to show you what equipment you need, what the cables are, what colour the cables are, how everything is joined together and how everything works together. So step one, I'm going to basically just show you we have two batteries, they both are 25.6 volt, battery one, battery two, with a COM port with, with, a, with the, the nodes where you connect them. In the middle we have a BMS, it's a 48, uh, 48 volt BMS which is sitting in the middle that controls the batteries, it, makes, it, it reads the cells and it tells you how the battery is working and operating. Next we have the positive cable, you can see the colour is brown, that goes to the positive terminal and feeds directly to the loads. The small brown cable is basically the reference cable, it runs from that same positive of your battery to the green input on the BMS. Alright, so that is, this is the black cable, it interconnects battery 1 to battery 2, it's from the positive of battery 1 to the negative of battery 2, it changes the system from a 25.6 volt to a 51 volt system. The shorter one of the blue cables, this one is the interconnect from the negative of battery 2 going up to the B minus on the BMS, it takes the negative to the BMS, to the incoming side of the BMS. The longer blue cable, that cable runs from the P minus of the BMS and runs up to your battery buzz bar. This is the communications cable. There are basically four of them. Uh, they will be connected in sequence from left to right. So from left it will be one, two, that, that'll be on battery input one and two. Three and four will be on the second battery on inputs one and two. These will give you the communication to each cell, will tell you what the cell voltages are, will give you the temperature of the battery on both batteries, so you'll see two temperatures and it will also give you the ambient temperature, that is the temperature on the outside of the battery. The other thing that you'll need as well is a cabinet, they come in all different shapes and sizes, this is the cabinet that it basically is sold with, with this set. Uh, tools needed to install this entire setup is basically a 14 spanner or a 14 ratchet spanner that is to tighten these terminals on the battery and then we need a small screwdriver like that just to basically put your reference in the front of the BMS. That's all you need to install this entire setup.